Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a hair routine video, um, and I haven't done it. I'm going to start with the hair brush and comb that I use, and there's nothing fancy. It's just like a Conair comb and brush. Shampoo and conditioner that I use. So I use Aussie Moist Shampoo and Conditioner, um, because it's really, um, and it's, because it's very inexpensive, so that's just what my mom buys, and it smells really good. It smells um, like fruity and more like coconut, and it really like the scent really really soothes me here, so I like that. I'm going to do this video today because I'm going to wash my hair tonight because I just worked out, so my hair is really dirty right now. Um, I only wash I wash my hair a minimum of every three days. Um, it's usually four and sometimes five. It's all dependent on how many like days I work out and stuff because that makes my hair have more oil in it. But I know that sounds kind of gross to a lot of people, but it actually makes your hair a lot softer and um, the oil doesn't it doesn't get as greasy as you think because it kind of slows down once you start not washing it as much. So that's that. Um, a deep conditioner that I use. In the shower is this one right here. It's the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. It kind of smells really strong. Um, and I've used most of it, but I've used this before. And you go through it pretty quickly, and I don't use it every wash. Um, I use it every few washes. But it's um, just kind of... I feel like it kind of helps my split ends and it just makes my hair a bit shinier. Um, you gotta make sure that you wash all of it out though because it will get in your hair. And the conditioner that I use most is just coconut oil and this is organic coconut oil. Um, I think it's refined. But it just kind of smells like butter and olive oil mixed together. It's not as like strong as olive oil. But I just take like a, t a tablespoon or two tablespoons, more like two, and I put it in the microwave and then I liquefy it and I just use my hands and put it all over all my hair, even the roots. And then I like drip the rest. Like I put my hair in a bun and I'll drip the rest on my head like right there because that's where it's harder to get it for me. And then I just put like a plastic bag around my head and so the heat gets trapped in my head. So this has been very good for my hair. It's not like something you see immediately but it definitely strengthens your hair over time and I try to do this like, I mean I usually forget to do it but I, there was a point where I was doing it like once a week. I try to do it like every, once every two weeks, it's usually like once every two or three weeks for me to do this. This is actually, I've had this for like a long time, like a year, so it's almost gone. And it tells you like for body care place, jar in warm water to liquefy, massage and chew skin or apply to hair for one hour then rinse it thoroughly. So I usually leave it in for an hour, sometimes longer. And the one bad thing about this is it's super hard to get out of your hair. Um, so you have to wash your hair like four or five times. Sometimes it's even still in there and your hair is just like super... It's not like oily, but it's like really waxy looking. So, yeah. And I'm just going to tell you about a couple other hair ma masks that I use. First, I'm going to talk about the most effective one that I use. Um, the most effective hair masks that I use have milk in them. I found that milk is one of the best ingredients to put in a hair mask. It really, really softens your hair and makes it shinier. Um, I usually do milk, olive oil, and an egg. Um, you can also do coconut oil, milk, and egg. I like to include an egg because the protein in the egg, and it also has that fat that will soften your hair up. But you want to make sure that you have an oil and milk, and then you can put whatever else. Banana works okay. Um, I don't really like to use banana just because I can't, like you need to put it so it's like completely liquid because it gets chunky in your hair and it's really hard to get out. 
So you'll have just chunks of banana in your hair. Um, but some people like to use banana. And there's all sorts of things you can use like yogurt and sour cream um, and fruit and stuff like that. Um, by the way, I use skim milk because that's all that I have in my house. And it works fine so you don't need to get like whole milk or whatever like the fat content in it. So just to clear that up. Um, so now I'm just going to show you all of the hot tools that I use on my hair. And that's... I only use hot tools on my hair for special occasions and sometimes then I really don't use hot tools on my hair. So first of all I'm going to show you my straightener. And I only have one straightener and I used to use it a lot and I kind of damaged my hair um, a couple years ago and it's still damaged. So you want to make sure that you don't use your straightener too much. But it's just like a regular cheese straightener. And then this curler is a Conair instant heat curler and it's not that good it's pretty old um, but it's just like a one inch barrel and it's what I use if I want like bigger it's not like medium curls I don't have a big barrel curling iron just because I don't need it because I don't really use them and then the last heat tool that I have that I use is this right here and this is my favorite one and it's the Remington curling one. It's a half inch. It actually goes up to an inch from then like a half inch at, a bottom, at the bottom. And you can control the heat, which I really like. And this was only about like 20 or $25, so this is a really great deal. You can get it at Target or Walmart or wherever, but I really like this. Um, I'm going to show you the main ways that I get curls in my hair. And I curl my hair probably once or twice a week just because I really like the way it looks in my hair and it doesn't take very long to do. Um, I do do sock curls sometimes, but I haven't been doing them lately and they work fine. But I recently got these um, Hot Tools little curlers and I got them for Christmas actually, so just a, a week ago or so. A couple. And... Um, they work fine, but I kind of put, I used it a couple times. I did it like this, so it was like a regular curl, and I haven't tried it where you put it in and then bend the end, so it's just like vertical, um, like this, or whatever. Like I saw Steel of Evo 9 do that for Taylor Swift's curls with these. Um, it worked out fine. The curls really didn't hold very well, though. Um, I don't know if I had put too much hair in each one. I didn't have them in long enough, but I really haven't used them that long enough to um, really judge them. So I'm going to try these out more, and I'll probably end up using them and figuring out how to use them better. But this one came with 10 in them, so I didn't know if that was going to be enough for my hair, but it is. And then what I use most of the time is just regular old-fashioned curlers, because these work the best. These are just the ones that have foam in them, and then a wire, so you roll your hair up and then tie the end with a wire like that. And these work really well in my hair, and you can make small or big curls, and they hold really well too. Last thing that I'm going to go over with you guys is all the hair products that I use. Um, I have them in this little bin, and this is actually what I store them in in my bathroom. And I think I got it at Target um, for like a dollar. So if I am going to use heat in my hair, I'm very cautious. Um, so what I do is I'll probably wash my hair just so I can use the heat and like have it in my hair a long time. So I wash my hair and then I'll put this in my hair. It's Split Remedy by Tresemme and this is a pretty affordable product and you just pump it into your hand. And rub it on your hair and put it all through your hair, like a couple pumps. Usually does it for me. And it kind of makes your hair have like a weird texture at first. Um, but you put it in your hair when it's wet. And it just kind of binds your split ends temporarily. And it's a heat protectant, so I like that. And then, I will spray in... If when I wake up in the morning and my hair is dry, I'll spray in my Redken um, Iron Silk. 
and this is just seven. So I literally saturate my hair with this because I'm so cautious. And then I also will like mix Redken and Tresemme Thermal Creations. Um, I don't know, really know which one's better. I think they're about the same. Even though Redken's probably a lot more expensive. Well, it is because it's Redken. But, um, so yeah, those are the things that I use. And usually, before I use heat, after I put in the heat protectant, then I'll put in this Moroccan Argan Oil. But I do use this on a regular basis anyways. It's not just for heat protection, but it does protect your hair from heat. So if I'm just going to use this, I'm actually going to use it right now because I'm washing my hair tonight and it's already oily. I actually kind of put a lot in my hand. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a lot. And I just rub it through my hands like that and rub it through my hair and I do do like up top too people are cautious about that but it really doesn't affect my hair that much um and I really like using this after I walk like after my hair has been dried and I've washed it because it just makes your hair instantly shinier so this is one of my favorite and most used hair products that I have so I just rub this through my hair till it's gone on my hands um And then I usually will brush it through, just with my brush. Okay. Now the only mousse that I use is Aussie Awesome Volume Styling Mousse. Um, this is the only one that I've really tried, because I'm not a mousse person, I don't really like the way it feels. Get your hair really crunchy, and I never use it. Like, when I curl my hair, I don't put anything in my hair, I just, when they're damp, I just put them in and they hold. So, I don't really use this, it's pretty full. And I don't have any hairsprays that I like to use, um... I used to use hairsprays, but I really hate them because they just make your hair super crunchy. And I used to use the Aussie ones and the aerosol can, but they smell so gross I can't even... Ew. They make me kind of feel sick smelling them. So I prefer the pump hairsprays instead of the aerosol ones anyways. And then I really like um, the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray because it feels really light on my hair. And if I put it in, it makes my hair look kind of tousled. So if I'm having like a bad hair day, this usually is what I go for if I want to wear my hair down. So yeah, and it smells kind of good to me, so. And then I only have two more products, and these are my most used slash favorite products that I have for my hair. The first is my Tresemme Fresh Start Dry Shampoo. And I put this in my hair a lot, and it really makes, holds the washes, and it smells super good. Like, I don't know, it smells like when you get your hair cut. I don't know why, like, even if they don't put anything in your hair, it smells like that. So I really like this, and, yeah, so it's the Fresh Start Dry Shampoo. And if you don't blend it in, you'll have, like, a white streak, so you gotta be careful and, like, look in the back of your head. And the second product that is, like, my favorite right now is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In. And I just got it for Christmas, um, but... It really makes my hair feel stronger. That's the main thing. It says that it adds shine, repairs damage, stops hair breakage. It, I, th I don't think it enhances natural body for me because it kind of makes my hair like heavier and stuff. But it just feels it makes my hair feel stronger. And if I comb it through, you can't really tell that I have it in. Um, but that's the thing. If I comb my hair when it's wet, it gets a little weird. 